I'm Alamideo Yani with the Enterprise Headline News. As the Nigerian government stable plans to offer more of its assets for sale under the ongoing privatization program, stakeholders in the nation's capital has urged the government to carry the Nigerian capital market along in order to ensure transparency and credibility. In an interview with Enterprise Television, the managing director of ICAP Security Limited, Imafi Don Adonri, said the privatization exercise will contribute hugely on the economy. Speaking at the end of international monitoring for the World Bank Group meeting in Bali, Indonesia, recently, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Governor Imafi, said the Nigerian government is ready to offer more of its assets for sale soon under the ongoing privatization program aimed at raising more money to implement the country's 2018 deficit-based budget. Already, the exercise have kicked up with recent offloading of Nigerian security printing and meeting company limited PLC with the Central Bank of Nigeria, which already has a majority stake, emerging the preferred buyer given the company's security status. But um, the privatizations should be done through the, the instrumentality of the capital market so that the shares of the companies uh, or enterprises to be privatized should be offered to the investing public through uh, the platform of the capital market. Against the backdrop of several complaints emanating from the banking public over services delivery and security in Nigeria, nascent mobile banking environment, the Central Bank of Nigeria is set to fully improve the system. Apex Bank has already indicated that its Consumer Protection Department is inundated with petitions and complaints mainly from the mobile banking activities. The Retro Banking and Payment System Department at the Central Bank of Nigeria, Dipo Fatokun, indicated the Vanguard Economic Forum series recently, said that Apex Bank is, on, is aware of the challenges in the mobile bank services and is said to address the problems. Fatokun said the Central Bank of Nigeria is currently reviewing the structure and processes of mobile money to make it more responsive to the emerging new financial services landscape. In a forum organized by Bank Customers Association of Nigeria in Lagos, the Acting Director of Consumer Protection Department of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Tajuddin Ahmed, representing Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefiele, said that the following last global financial crisis, the relationship between consumers and their services provider is being continuously scrutinized as one of the contributory factors to crisis was inadequate consumer knowledge and protection. The world's largest producer of Sikh, Wandon Sikh textbook, has announced its plan to set up shop in Kenya. Top officials of the government-owned company met President Uhuru Kenyatta in Shanghai, China on Sunday, during which they confirmed plans to set up business in Nairobi. The company will not only set up a Sikh processing factory at the export processing zone in Ati River, but will also establish a Sikh farm. The Guandon Sikh Fex Group will establish a cocoon farm on an estimated 8,237 acres of land with capacity to handle the entire seek value chain, covering cocoon procurement, seek reeling, waving and trading. The venture is expected to create over 300,000 jobs for Kenyans. Cryptocurrency platform Luno, which is backed by Nasbots and Rand Merchant Investment Holdings, is planning an aggressive push into at least 18 more African countries, says Mary Roots, the exchange manager for South Africa. Ritz declined to name the countries being targeted, but said Luno, which operates in South Africa, Nigeria, Europe, and Southeast Asia, is seeking banking partners across the continent to facilitate its expansion. He also said that they have started engaging with banks and regulators and reviewed the company's new African region at in Johannesburg, will grow from a team of 8 to 40. Luno has more than 2 million customers globally. However, South Africa is the most important market in terms of trading volumes. Regulator in South Africa expected to publish a position paper on cryptocurrencies within the next few months. Which concluded by noting that why some clients are falling prey to publishing scams. Luno has never been hacked. And on foreign scene, China has promised to further cut import tariffs and open its economy as it tries to address criticism that its trade practices are unfair. In speech at Shanghai Trade Expo, President Xi Jinping also made the robust defense of the global free trade system, which was said was under attack. 
The comments have been seen as a reference to the United States with which China is fighting a bitter trade war. The United States and China have hit each other with huge import tariffs this year. Neither has shown any sign of backing down, and the United States has threatened to escalate it for that still. Speaking at the opening of the Expo, Mr. Z said that in a world of deepening economic globalization, practices of the law of the jungle and winner takes all only represent a dead end. He added that an inclusive good for all is surely the right way forward. Nigerian Professional Football League outfit, Apple United, will unveil their new head coach today, Monday. Abdul Mai Kaba, who has tinkered the promise keepers for two past seasons, recently left his post to link up with Nigerian Professional Football League champion, Plato United. Mai Kaba guided Aqua United to win the Atil Federation Cup last year, following a 3-2 penalty shootout win against Niger Tornados. He left following the expiration of his two-year contract with the promise keeper. Flying Eagle head coach Paul Aigbogun and former Plato United technical advisor, Kennedy Boboye are rumored to be the landing candidate for the vacant position. It was gathered that the club's hierarchy are also working on the possibility of hiring an expert trade to undo the side in the new season. And that's it on Enterprise headline news for today. For more information, you can visit our website www.enterprisetv.tv and all our social media platforms are available for your personal consumption. Many thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Olamide Oyamini.